Hey all, Jeff Lance here. Glad to have you with me today. So this exercise you just saw is meant to help you master inversions of major and minor triads. So uh, without any further ado, let's get into it. Uh, I've created a three-page document that spells out the exercise you just saw. So let's start, a, let's start with the right hand, and let's look at the first measure. You'll see that um, it's a uh, series of uh, C major triads and their inversions, starting out with the um, root position C major uh, built on uh, middle C. Then the first inversion, second inversion, and then root position an octave higher. Now we're going to move up a half step to D flat to the second measure. D flat root position, D flat second inversion, first inversion, root position. Now it goes on like this. Okay, and then when we get to the top of that climb, um, I guess I could scroll through and get the second page of the document. Okay, so when we get to the top of it, I guess we're looking right here at that second score, uh, where we're at B flat. Now, going to the third score, we're going into minors. C minor, root position, first inversion, second inversion, uh, root position. Now we're coming down, now it's B minor, so on and so forth, until we get back to the beginning. So um, that is, that's what the right hand's doing. Now the left hand, uh, let's, let's uh, start with, um, let's not look at the music for a second. Let's just look at the overhead and see that my uh, left hand is going to start out playing a simple, tight root position C major triad built on C1. Now I'm going to add the octave, the perfect octave here. And so here's four notes, they're all uh, in C major. Now, this note here, this major third above the root note, is, uh, is an E note. Well, we're not gonna play this anymore, we're gonna play it an octave higher, which makes it a major 10th. So what's happening here is the root, the perfect fifth, the perfect octave, and the major 10th. Now, I want you to notice the fingering on that first measure. The number two finger, your index finger, is on the G note, which is the perfect fifth of this chord. And we're going to arpeggiate the chord, and it's going to look like this. Now that pattern is going to be uh, copied throughout this whole exercise. When we go to uh, D flat measure, it's this so on and so forth. And then when you finally get to the top, and now we're in the minors coming down, it's still the same pattern. Index finger is still on the perfect fifth of the chord. Okay, so um, I guess I'll just, I'll just play it real slow, uh, the whole exercise. And I like to do this exercise staccato. Okay, I'm going to pause for a moment to uh, scroll down to the second page of the document and start out an A flat. Now we're into the minors. Pause to turn the page. Now we're on the final page, G, G sharp minor.
Okay, you'll notice that I specified the left hand fingering, but I did not specify the right hand fingering. And that is because there's just a lot of different ways to do it, and I think you need to find your own way there. You can see uh, the way I did it was sometimes I would just do this. So I'd keep my hand in one position, and then I'd move it up to my second position, and then move up to this position. So on some of these, I was just doing two hand positions for four chords. But you can do this if you want to. A new hand position for each chord. You can do that too. Okay, that's it for today's video. If you found it useful, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the like button. It could help me out. Okay, we'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.